Hey guys, 8BitSquid here and welcome to another Playmaker tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be working with the uh, input field uh, so we can have our player enter something on there be it maybe a name or a password or maybe like a typing game you have to type something what appears on the screen. Now we're going to look at two examples, one like a password and then on screen, like entering a word on screen correctly. Okay, so before we get into that, make sure you hit like down below and subscribe to get more tutorials from me. Really appreciate it. And let's just get on with this. So as you see here, uh, I've just got a panel, an input field, and a text object. It's called text to enter. Okay, um, so what we're going to do here is what will happen is it's going to choose uh, a word and then that's going to appear here and then once it's appeared there we can type it in and it'll check if it's correct and then it will either you can reward the player um, or if they're wrong make them enter again and then it will reset the word when you're correct okay so on our input field we want to have uh, we're going to have six states in total, but let's st start from the first one. So the first one we're going to call uh, select word. Okay, and on this one we want a select random string. Okay, I'm just going to go with default three. We'll choose some words like apple, banana and pair and then we want to store that in a new global variable we'll call word and then we're going to have a next frame event okay and let's do that to uh, add it on there first uh, finished and then finished okay then we are going to <clears throat> want to Create a new one here, link it together. Okay, and then we're gonna set word uh, and add a finish to here. Okay, in here we want to have a UI text set text. Okay, and we're going to specify game object and in this case I'm going to choose what I've called here text to enter which is this text object there. Okay, and then text to enter we're going to choose text here, make it a variable and then choose word. <clears throat> and then we're going to choose every frame. And then a next frame event. Okay, we're going to create a new state, add that to there. Okay, in this one, this is going to be uh, get enter text. Okay, and in here we want to have a UI input field get text. Okay, and we're going to also use owner and we're going to store this in here and we're just going to call it say text and every frame. Okay, and then when something happens we want to make sure it's accepted. So in this case let's say when we hit return, so we're going to go get key down. Make sure that's last. So we're going to send event to finished, get key down, return. Let's click there to add that. Okay, and then we're going to add another state here and link it to there. Okay, now here we are going to check our string. And we're going to want two custom events on here. So we'll click custom. And we'll say right or wrong. Add that to there. And 
wrong. And then here we want to do a string compare. And we're going to compare our word with our text. Oh, sorry, it should be around actually, should be, we're comparing the text to the word. Now, if it's equal to, we are right. If it's not the equivalent, we're going to be wrong. And then every frame. Okay, so now if we are right, let's start with this one. Add state, we're right. Okay, we'll self call this one correct. Okay, and then here we'll set uh, UI in put field set text. Okay, and we'll put this set we've already got there. Enter text dot, dot dot. Okay, and then we want to reward the player. So let's say, for example, we will give the player some money. So let's say a float add. Okay, and we'll have a new one here just for this, so let's call it money. And we'll add five. Okay, and I'm gonna add a next frame event just to make sure it will actually move on to the next event. Okay, finished. And that's gonna to link to our new word. Okay, now we want what happens if we go wrong. Call this one wrong. Okay, we'll have finished on there. Wrong links to there. And then our wrong wants to link to here. Okay, and then what happens is we'll say UI input field set text again. And let's put enter word dot 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 uh, every frame and a next frame event and now we'll go to finished <clears throat> okay so hopefully now that will work let's hit play and make sure it is working so this should automatically work with that what we already told it to do Okay, so the text there is really small for some reason. So text to enter there. Okay, that's why. So we have to make sure here where it says text, we have the same size. We'll say 200 and then in the middle. Okay, control and save. That should now be working. Okay. Okay, way too big. <laughs> Why did I put it as 200? Okay, that one is set to 100, so I set that as 100 as well. Should have checked that. But now that's working. Not oh, pause. Okay, so I've got there, I've got pair, so type in pair. Press enter. Okay, I've got the same again. See, and it, over time it will change. And if we get it wrong, like, yeah, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so that there is now working. So perfect. And obviously it will add float to money as well there. Now, what if you want to use like a password? Well, it's just going to be identical, but let's get rid of that one. So if you want to like as a password field, we don't want this. We don't want, actually, we don't want the set word one now. We're just going to go to get enter text. Okay. 
And then let's start this new. So we'll add a new one here called uh, another string compare. Okay. And here, let's say, okay, in fact, we don't want this one at all. We get rid of that. And we can set this one as our start one here, set as start state. Okay, so it's gonna check what we enter, go here, check if it's right or wrong. If it's wrong, it's gonna go there. Correct, it'll go back to here. Okay, and then we are going to have global, and let's call a new variable here called password compared to our text, because that's what we've got set here. Okay, if it's equal, we go to right, wrong, we go to wrong. Okay, and then let's just say that when we get it right, we're gonna get 100. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got string variable password, but we need to set that up. So we're gonna go to here, global variables, and find password. Now it's gonna be empty. Let's put hello world. Okay. And then what we want to actually do is also, if we are correct, we don't want that password to work anymore. So we're gonna set string value. Okay, and we're gonna choose password, string value when it's put in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's hit save. Okay, now let's have a look at it working. So we're gonna go here, global variables, look at the password, it says hello world, and our money is zero. Now it might, it shouldn't actually, I don't think I've got it to save. Okay, so we've got zero there. So our current password is hello world, so let's type that in. Now we've got 100, and if I do it again, look, say hello world, it's now wrong. If we look, our password is now set to that there. And that's it. So like you can have, mul you could basically then have multiple of them. So like instead, what you do is you have it go through multiple of these and then when you've got the last password, it goes to here and it will check all passwords. If it's right, it will then scramble your password. So you can make this literally go on forever, entering as many passwords as you want for that scenario. So like maybe you want to reward your player with some like in-game currency for entering a correct password. So yeah, that is it. So um, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you did, please hit like and subscribe and if you have any requests for tutorials, you can leave it in the comment section down below or join my Discord with a link in the description and in the pinned comment. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.